understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We don't know anything more than that. We don't know if it was a commercial aircraft. We don't know if it was a private aircraft. We have no idea how many were on board or what is what the extent of the injuries are right now. We are uh, we have I understand an eyewitness on the phone right now. Sir, what's your name? Yeah, my name is Stuart. Stuart, where are you right now? I'm working at a restaurant in Soho. All right, so tell us what you saw, if you would. I literally, I was waiting at a table, and I literally saw a, it seemed to be like a small plane. I just heard a couple noises. It looked like it, like, bounced off the building, and then I heard a, I just saw a huge, like, ball of fire on top. And then the smoke seemed to simmer down, and it just, um, you know, a lot of smoke was coming out, and that's pretty much the extent of what I saw. A private aircraft? It, I'm not sure. If it was a, it just seemed like a smaller plane. I don't think it was anything commercial. Did you, could you tell us whether or not it was a, a prop or, or a jet? I honestly don't know. It happened too quickly. Um, characterize the scene for us down there right now, if you would. Excuse me? Can you tell us about the scene down there right now? Um, right now, people are just on the street looking at the building. The building, it was just a lot of smoke. Um, it's not too crazy down where I am. How, but, um, how far away from the World Trade Center specifically are you? I'm actually on Thompson Street North. It's, I'm not too, too far. It's 8.54 right now. Stuart, can you tell me when this happened exactly? I would have to say about 10 minutes ago. About 10 minutes ago? Yeah. Is, is this normally an area that is, that is, is heavily trafficked by aircraft, or is this an area that, uh, that aircraft steer pretty clear of? You know, I really... I, can't, I really don't know that information. Uh huh. Is there, is there much panic around there? Um, just people on the street coming out looking. There was panic at first, but it seemed to slow down right now. We're looking at a picture of a great deal of smoke coming out of the building. Um, can you please, please tell us? I mean, was there, after you heard this this crash, um, was there smoke immediately? Um, no, there was like a big ball of fire on the top of the building, and then as that simmered down, there just seemed to be a ton of smoke, and there. So yeah, pretty much immediately. I hear uh, fire engines in the background. Um, has that been going since uh, the, since you saw this crash, or, or uh, is that kind of late arrival? It happened almost pretty much after we heard the crash. Almost, af quick. almost after yeah, you heard the it crash. Yeah, it was pretty quick when we heard um, sirens and you know people acting on it. Did you uh, were you looking up as the plane approached the building, or did you did it only call your catch your attention after it uh, it crashed into the World Trade Center? I heard uh, like a sort of a crashing sound. But I looked up, and I looked up quick enough to actually see something go into the building. But everything happened so fast, I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at. So there's no way you can know whether or not the plane seemed to be in trouble before, no, no. before it crashed into the building. Oh, no, I, I, no, I couldn't tell. It's, it's hard for us to tell um, from the picture we're seeing just uh, how far down from the top that plane crashed. Um, have you any better eyesight to it um, from your vantage point? Not really. All I know is it definitely wasn't the top, top of the building because that seems to be intact from what I saw. Um, I, I really can't tell mm -hmm. right now. You, there's no, can you tell us anything about um, how much debris um, came, to, came crashing to the ground and whether or not um, anybody was hurt as a result? I honestly don't know. I just saw a lot of what looked like crumbling glass maybe, just a lot of stuff falling down, but not, I can't tell you debris-wise. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, the, uh, the timing of this is, is important. Um, it comes before 9 o'clock. Um, perhaps, perhaps, and, and, and we say that in hopeful fashion, perhaps not everybody was at work. Um, because uh, if, if that building was, in fact, crowded with, uh, with workers, we're looking at, uh, at, at probably some, uh, some casualties and, and, and injuries of, of considerable proportions. But, uh, but right now, there's, there's no way of telling that. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Stewart, just, just one more time, and I know I'm, I'm exhausting what little information you have, but we have people joining us um, every moment. Take me through again where you were, when, you, when this happened, what you saw. I was um, serving tables at a restaurant, and I just heard sort of like a boom sound. It almost sound almost like an earthquake sound, and I looked up, and I saw literally something like it might have even bounced off a little bit of a building and next thing I know I saw a big ball of fire on the top of the building and just lots of smoke and what looked like to be debris or glass falling down and it happened really quick it's really hard to 
Okay. Stuart, I thank you very much. I appreciate that, sir. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're on the line with um, uh, another eyewitness. Um, sir, this is Bryant Gumbel in New York. Oh, how um, you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You're Wendell? Yes, I am. Wendell, can you give me your last name? Klein. Wendell Klein. Um, tell me where you are, if you would. Well, right now I'm in the back in the hotel. I'm in the hotel offices here, the front office. You're in the, okay, where were you when the... When I, the... I was standing right in front of the trade, um, the hotel. I'm the doorman there. And... Um, the That's hotel, when, the hotel, which hotel? Marriott World Trade Center. Right across from the World Trade Center. It's actually right in between. Them. Right in between the World Trade Center. Yes. Okay, so you were standing outside, and tell us what you saw and what you heard. Well, well what I, I heard first, an explosion, and I just figured that it was a plane passing by. Then all of a sudden, stuff just started falling, like bricks and paper and everything. And so I just kind of like ran like inside to get away from the falling debris and glass and so forth. Then, after like everything stopped because it like was falling in the street and the cars were crashing into each other, and then when it kind of stopped, I heard a guy screaming. And when I looked over, there was this guy that was on fire. So I kind of like ran over, and I tried to like put the fire out on him. And he was he was like screaming, and I just told him to roll, roll, and he said he can't. And then another guy came over with his uh, bag and kind of like put the fl the flames out on him. So. Right now, um, he's being taken care of. I just had everyone call the ambulance and stuff so it can help him out. He caught fire as a result of the falling debris? Yeah. Um, how much debris, can you give us an idea of how much came oh, crashing man. to the ground? It's just a lot. Um, bricks, a lot of bricks, a lot of glass. Um, I'm like, enough to like damage cars on the street, make cars swerve into each other, that kind of thing. Any other people on the ground that you saw? No, just hurt? just him so far. Um, tell me about the traffic down in that area, and I'm talking about human traffic. Human um, traffic, well, at, at 8:55, well, which see, is about the time side, when this happened. 8:45, 8:55. Right on my side, where I'm standing, there's not a whole lot because it's basically right in front of the hotel, so you don't get too much, but you do get enough. You know, get some. What about traffic in the building? I mean, you work basically between the two towers. Yes. Um, most people arriving for work before or after 9 a.m.? Uh, before. Basically, in my hotel, I have people who are just leaving and going to meetings. Uh, outside my hotel, I just had people waiting for their cars to take them to their various destinations, that kind of thing. I hear alarms going off down yeah, there. What, the, what's, what's happening? That's our hotel alarm, and basically, I guess that went off automatically. They've evacuated everyone in the hotel. They evacuated all employees. That they have of. evacuated the hotel? Yes. Immediately? Yes. Um, can you give me an idea of what the scene is like down there? What the what is like? What the scene is like down there at the World um, Trade Center? Just people are like crying and panicking, like want to know what's going on. Um, when I came inside, there were a lot of people who wanted to go out to see what was going on, but the security kind of like kept them at bay and kept them inside. Um, basically, right now, I just still have people going towards uh, the bar area to try to evacuate everyone out of here. That kind of thing. Is this an area, um, uh, Mr. Klein, that is normally trafficked by, by small planes, or is it is it uh, an area you, that they're generally steer clear of? Um, you do get some. I do see some passing. Um, basically, those planes, like I do see passing, are like those, um, like the planes from Washington, D.C. area. Mm -hmm. Like, so there won't be like huge planes, but you know, big enough. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing anything, Wendell, about what kind of a plane it was, no. or? Or no. how many were on board? No. No, basically all I, all I got was my wife called me. She told me that it was, it was a, a plane crash. And basically, I really don't know what's going on so far. Do you know if it was a private aircraft or a commercial plane? That, that I don't know. You don't know? No, sir. You're not uh, seeing any evidence of people being carried out of the building yet? N um, I, there's a woman that was just carried. I guess she fainted or something. But I don't, I don't see any physical injuries to her. All right, Mr. Klein, thank you very much, sir. All right, good talking to you, sir. I, I appreciate it. Bye-bye.